Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Okay, you know what time it is? <laughs> Are we starting this early already? <laughs> We're about five seconds in, mate, please. It is seven past. Seven past the hair. Oh, this is all today is going to be, isn't it? It's just a running theme of bullying me, isn't it? So there's going to be height jokes, Man United jokes. I mean, anything else you want to add on top of that oh, as well? No, I have just literally spat my coffee out, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite drink, actually, Kebs? Um, do you know what, mate? I am impartial to a, to, to, to a bit of Monster, mate. Okay. I really like 7-Up. We're going to have to get a counter to how many jokes that are going to... It's going to be funny, actually. How many jokes that you're going to say, how many that I'm going to get in this video? That, that, yeah. <laughs> it's just going to be a running theme. Yeah. Good. This is going to be fun. I don't know what else to say, to be honest with you. We're just going to get cracking. We're going to get straight into it. Kebs, I can only apologise for sleeping in for you. Sleep for sleeping in. I can only <laughs> apologise for being late. I had to sleep in today. I started the stream late. Usually my alarm goes off at seven. And that isn't the joke. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? No, is like that, are you sure that's not joke number three? Or, no, or that's not quite joke number three. That's just the setup. Because then Kate, I was, I slept in, and we need to take the dog out. And K2 is like, Andy, Andy, it's eight. And I was like, Liverpool have scored again. I can't deal with this. <laughs> I haven't even filmed with a Liverpool fan yet, let alone you. <laughs> Kate, just... what's your favourite film? <laughs> is it seven? <laughs> How many inches over five foot tall are you? <laughs> Luckily, only six. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I was five seven, mate, oh god, that would have uh, even even more of a ropey day. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm get, ever to get them relegated, but I'm at least enjoying myself because that was <laughs> funny. That land you lost. Yeah. <laughs> I've given you stick throughout the whole year, so you know what, mate. I, I've dished it out enough. I, I, I guess I'll take it for this next week. I. I've consigned myself to relegation at this point, to be honest with you. Unless Andy takes over, Carlo, Andy, Lottie, or wherever we call myself on Footy Manager, I've just call myself Andrew Castell on career modes. Go and check out career mode, by the way. AJ3 plays. There's a link down in the description. I've hired another editor. So often when I start video series or something like that, Kebs, mm -hmm. people will say it'll never last. And that's not true because I did a road to glory for like two or three years, and it was only in year three where I can't, it kind of just fizzled out and I got bored of doing Road to Glories. The previous years, I think the first one, had, they, they both had like close to 200 episodes throughout the year, which is kind of wild, but I did <laughs> only get like a couple of months into the third one. I was like, do you know what? I'm not enjoying this anymore. It takes too long to film. I was editing all my videos myself. You have to edit it and then commentate it and then edit the commentary at the top and it's just a pain in the ass. So I sacked that off. However, we've got a bloody AJ3 people. So what we've got, me, Marius, and Rob. So there is content, 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 content coming. The second channel is back. Rob is going to be editing the career mode, which is going to be going up three times a week. Uh, aiming for Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So make sure you go and check it out and sub. The first episode is already up. I think the second episode should be up by the time this Squabble Showdown goes up as well. So you've got something to go and binge watch if you want to go and get involved in my event career mode. Hopefully Sean Dyche is as good a football manager as I am. I think... If there's anyone that could save you, really, it's a, it's either Big Sam or uh, Sean Dyche, mate. So I've seen some interesting stats, actually. Like, Everton fans are the most dramatic of all football fans. The most jaded, shall we say, by averageness at this point and just miserable. Where you go to Goodison and you're sat in the Gladys Street, which is meant to be where the atmosphere is and stuff like that. And I've kind of stopped going because I've... People call me an armchair fan, come what you want. I had a season ticket for like 10, 12 years, something like that. And in the end, it just ran me down. Because you go and you sit there and if people just going, you're fucking shite, Holgate. And it's like, mate, we're sat in like the fourth row. Holgate's about 15 yards, right? You can definitely hear you. We're currently losing 1-0 and they're about to go on a counter-attack. Do you think this is helpful? <laughs> I don't know. So I kind of got jaded with it. But Everton fans are very pessimistic. Understandably, I guess, at the moment, because we're battling relegation two seasons in a row. Yeah. And we're already at head loss, because we didn't beat Forest and stuff like that. But I seen a stat where it compared the expected goals for and against Everton from Deitch's first games versus Lampard's first games. And Lampard's were all like 0 0.14, 0 0.24, 0 0.34, 1 1.6 against, 3.2 against, 1.9 against. Basically guaranteeing that you should lose on the balance yeah. of the game. Yeah. Whereas for Daesh, it's the opposite way around. And we might even have been getting the rubber of the green and the results and stuff yet, but they're actually playing a lot better. And I feel like we can stave off relegation. We're only two points off. So anyway, 
Mr. Kevs. Yes. Enough rinse in both of our football clubs. True. Even though yours, seven times as much. What <laughs> formation would you like? I would like the 4 3 1 2, please, today. So I got the first part right, the part that adds up to seven. <laughs> but then I got the second part wrong. I got them the wrong way around, and I put 4 3 2 1. Ooh, even better, mate. I'll take that all every day of the week. But what would you like, though? I'm going to go 4 3 3. Ooh, just the 4 3 3 flat. Just 4 3 3. I've also prepared some trump cards in advance. Oh, wow. So I really need to keep my players today. Because they're both called Sven. <laughs> Sven. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Well, I need to make sure that I build a good enough team to not have that in my team. And I just try and not give you the satisfaction of giving me those players as well, mate. Once again, Kerbs, you can have Sven. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't need to hear those words coming out of your mouth today, mate. Let's get into it. All right, then, Kerbs. Let's jump into some players, mate. Let's do it. I am going to go. At striker for Lacazette. Okay. It's a bit out of left field. His winter wall card is very, very good, to be fair. You could have had seven guesses and never got in. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> I am going to link across to him with Path to Glory Griezmann. He's a little bit risky. I mean, he can play striker and right wing, which is a little bit crackers for me. But you know what? Go big or go home. Is what I say. I'm, oh, no, I can't do what I wanted to do because I didn't realise he came out as a striker. Oh, that's very annoying. I wanted to have at left wing. Gavi. I didn't know that Gavi could play left wing, so I was hoping that you didn't. He's, of course, a centre mid by default. Yes. But that's not happening for me now. So instead, and it's not even Gavi. It's, it is Gavi. It is Gavi. Is it Gavi or is it Pedri? No, it's both. It's Gavi and Pedri. And both of them are centre mids and both of them can play left wing. Anyway, that's not happening. So I'll pick an actual left wing instead. Ferran Torres. Well, well, well. The thing is, Andy, there's a lot of players in La Liga, my friend, that can play striker or right wing or oh, left so wing. Oh, so can Ferran Torres. Oh, for Christ's sake, Andy. Why have you done this? This is such a terrible idea. So I have written down two Atletico Madrid players that can both play striker and on their wings. And a Spanish forward that can play striker and on the wing as well, mate. Asensio, Depay and Jao Felix. That is exactly who is down on my exactly. whiteboard. Let's yeah. go! That is exactly who's down on my whiteboard. <laughs> I was gonna write down Griezmann because I thought, ah, oh, French is a lot easier to go and link elsewhere, but he's Spenny, and I don't have many coins. <sighs> I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to afford them. Well, I'm gonna have to go start selling fodder. But we move. Well done, mate. You've, you've, you've dodged the bullet. And if you've written down any of these, I think I'm gonna be quite upset if I'm honest. Uh, at right striker, we're going to the Serie A. Because we're going to go for Victor Ocean Man. Left striker, we're going to go for Palatano. And at Cam, I really want to try this guy out. Um, he's a brand new showdown from last week. It's Elif Elmas. I've got no idea who you're on about. Elmas is when you go on a spa weekend and you get that really <laughs> posh shower gel. Yeah, true. But this guy is six foot. He's four star, four star, 92 dribbling. Great passing, great pace. Going to be setting up Ocean Man and Politano's winter wild card. Well, as you can imagine, I didn't write down any Serie A players. Indeed. So you also may have them all, because there's no point in me even longing this out and trying to bait you into thinking <laughs> that you've lost players. I wrote Soloff, Depay, and Lamella. Let's move on. Right, into the midfield we go, Mr. Kebs. Yes. We haven't even addressed one of our midfielders at all in this video, really. I just got so distracted. Well, yeah, with bullying me about Man United. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> 1.6 million coins. The annual Marcus Lorente is really good on FIFA, so give him a special card with over 80 in every single stat card of the year. And will he be very, very good? Absolutely. 100%. And is he going to make three appearances in the next six games? I don't know. I don't watch the league, but I assume so. Is he going to get two goals or assists? I don't know. I don't know if he's any good in real life. Are his club going to win a game? You'd think so. It's Atletico Madrid. Are they going to avoid defeat? Potentially. It's Atletico Madrid, yeah. Yeah. Unless they're playing Real or Barcelona, you would assume so. 
Or they'll just go and lose to like Cadiz, 1-0 away from home. Don't know who that is. But basically, this card could be quite good. And probably already is quite good. Because he's got 92 pace and 80 in every other stat. He, he is just one of them. And it does kind of tilt me that EA just recycle the same players over and over again. Yeah. But then when they give it to someone stinky, like, where's my Marcos Lorente? So, I, I don't know. They can't win, mate, can they? They, they can't win. But they could at least be a little bit different about it. Like, I don't mind if you want to give Rashford and Lorente a foot miss card every year or something like that. But pick someone a bit different, you know? Like, did you see that copy and paste of Road to the Knockouts or Road to the Final, whichever one it was? And it's the exact yeah. same players as last year. Like, God, yeah. It's not, it's not that hard to just pick somebody different. It makes the interest a lot less. And we don't like that, mate. Anyway. Anyway. Clips. What midfield is he going for, mate? Oh, I'm going first again. Oh, okay, okay. Again, I went first last time, didn't I? Did you? I don't know. I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you what I want either way, my friend. Um, I'm going to go for a man. Good start. That you always forget that I have in my club. And you hate it because you're like, oh, I always forget that he has a card. Well, I don't know what you're on about, so I'm about to say the same thing again, aren't I? Go on, say his name. Thomas Lamar. Oh, I always forget that he has a card that could play centre mid. <laughs> So, um, yeah, he's, he's going in. Now, I'm going to go for something a little bit risky now. Okay. Um, as you're well aware of, I have three fake horse players in my team. So, if I was to put one more in, that would be full Kemp. And this Zambo Angisa looks very, very nice. But I've also got this Zielinski in my club as well. So, I'm trying to think which one you would have written down. And I've got a feeling you don't want to play against this Zambo Angisa. So I'm going to go for my Zielinski card, please. Well, well, well. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good. Did I forget about Thomas Lamar? Yes, you always do. That's the whole meme. Did I write down Zambo Angisa? Hopefully. Sounds like you're about to do... I sound like I'm being stale or something, didn't I? <laughs> you really Come did, on up yeah. on mobile. <laughs> Come on up in part two. Did Andy forget about Zambo Angisa? <laughs> Has Ian done the dirty double in Love Island yet, by the way? I haven't watched Love Island. I never watched Winter Love Island, to be honest with you. I sometimes watch some of Love Island. As he, I don't think he's done it, obviously, because I swear people would have tweeted me. We need to pester him. What's he doing? But we are not going to break curbs, and the answer to both of them questions are yes. I did forget about Thomas Lamar, and I did route down Zambo Angisa. <gasps> I mean, I can I have my midfield. But I also wrote Zielinski. So you see him? That Zielinski fella. Come on up in part three. And he's going to be picking Kerb Sven. Oh. Right, I'll give, you a, I'll give you a choice, mate. You can have seven. Or? Or you can have nil. <laughs> oh, no, he's a left wing with 81 pace. You can have Sven. Brilliant. Sven Janssen. Sven Janssen. What rating is he? Because there is a lot of Svens on this game. 54? No, not Sven Botman, no? No. Don't tell me he's a goalkeeper. Of course he's a goalkeeper. Oh, Kev. he's got 17 speed. Yeah. Oh, he stinks. Who would you like? <laughs> oh, my Lovely. God. I am going to go for a PSG duo. I am on the ropes with coins. We had to sit here whilst I sold stuff to be able to buy that Griezmann. So I'm going to use my first owner, Verratti. We've got a Centurions. Good card. Banging card, mate. And then we're going to have to sit here again whilst I sell fodder so I can buy a Portuguese man by the name of Vitinha. Very, very nice. Because we'd actually be here till tomorrow if I was selling fodder to buy that one to watch Ronaldo Sanchez. How's he still 700k? Why is Saliba as well, Kebs? Why is Saliba 1.7 mil? Something stupid like He's a centre-back. I've got no idea. You just he's... take your hands off the controller, put it down, and let EA defend for you. You don't have to do anything. He's more expensive than Team of the Year Van Dyke. Ridiculous. I don't understand it, mate. However... Oh, not however. I did have the idea, my friend, of writing two PSG midfielders down. One of which I rubbed off, which was Carlos Soler. And I, I put down Corentin Taliso uh, on there instead. Oh, but they got that Fabian as well, haven't they? Surely that's bait with the Spanish. They got. Where did all these Spaniards come into PSG from? 
Spain, probably. Valencia and... Lazio? Napoli, actually. Yeah, it was Napoli, yeah. But I, I did write down Fabian as well. Nice. I, I thought, mm, he, might, he might might be tempted, but no. You, get to keep both. you have, mate. You have indeed, unfortunately for me. Again. Now I just need to sit here and sell fodder until I can afford Vatinia. Right, into the fullbacks we go, Kerbs, where we've talked about this a little bit in a video before, and I actually think it's quite a good idea of Squabble the Show and Cut, but instead of it being a separate podcasty video, they get all of the things that we talk about to each other and to the stream whilst uh, deciding our guesses and filming. So we've just had a big old, well, I say we, I've just had a big old rant about TV and how I think TV is, I think characterized well by someone in the stream, most TV shows are for watching whilst you scroll through your phone and you don't actually have to pay attention to them and there's no complexity to it and it's all just very service level. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. Or, oh my God, good guy won. So, maybe we'll cut them out and put them up as a members only pick because they're not never going to go into the video anyway, but you know, the members can watch them. That can be some squabble shit on a cut. Anyway, I think that's quite a good idea. We'll come on to that. Kerbs, I'll go first because I made you go first last time. Lovely. What would you like? I just need to get chemistry, basically. So I need two Liga and players and two La Liga players. And I, I do this quite a lot with my squads, where it's very difficult to make anything other than a two-league hybrid on this game. It's in squad of the showdown, at least, anyway. Right. In normal FIFA, yeah, sure. But it becomes very obvious who you're going to pick. Like, oh, you need a chemistry point for Verratti because you then picked Barella. And it's like, oh, he's going to pick Sergio Ramos to link to it. Just, I'm going to lose my players. So we can't be doing that in squad of the showdown. I am going to go for my one league earn player, Nuno Tavares. I'm hoping you'll think I don't have one of them, but I actually did 20 of the PPs, I think, to get one of them, the 84 one. Nice card, mate. Nice card. And on the other side, Bateson put me onto this guy being absolutely incredible at right back, which I would never have thought to play him there. I'm pretty sure his centre-back cards can play there, but he also has a right back in form, I believe. So, I'll go for Kunde. Also, Angry Jin just currently ringing me. Morgan, hello. Hi, you okay, mate? Yeah, you thought I was at Badminton. Uh, you were at Badminton, sorry. I was ringing about your files for Squabble the Showdown. I'm also just making a videos up, so I may as well get you involved at this point. And we are talking about favourite drinks. Favourite drink? Well, if I'm on a diet, it'll be Pepsi Max Cherry, because there's no sugar in it. Yeah. However, if I'm not caring about um, sugar. Yeah. It would either be full fat Coke yeah. or cardiac, uh, cardiac arrest in a bottle, Mountain Dew. Oh, not 7-Up. Goodbye, you. <laughs> How has he not seen that coming? How has he not seen that coming? <laughs> United! United! <laughs> ah, at least it's not just me getting bullied today. Happy days. <laughs> Oh, well, luckily for you, mate, uh, I wrote down Fabio and Ishmaili, so... Lovely. Who <laughs> would you like? <sighs> Fair enough. Um, we're going to go quite big for the right, uh, for the fullbacks, mate. Um, in right back, we're going to go for a Frenchman in La Liga. That is not Jules Koundé. It is Mr. Jordan Amavi. Good little player. And left back, I'm going to use my hero, uh, a man that I absolutely love on this game. Not Captain Via Kerbs. Not Captain Via Kerbs. World Cup Captain Via. <laughs> no, he's so good. <laughs> yes, he is. And I'm really hoping that you're not baiting me. Mate, he's played 100 games for my club. So is my one. He's absolutely broken. He's brilliant. So if I lose and I lose him, I will be very upset. And they've just they've brought a new one of them out as well. Great. As if he wasn't good enough. Yeah, that, that fantasy foot one is going to be just, like, outrageously good. I've played 106 games of him. I bought him for 400k, and he's 800k now. <sighs> I packed him, luckily. That's very good, to be fair. There's a, there's a pick out, actually, isn't there? In my foot champs team, which I haven't played for ages, and I need to get back on it because my FIFA ability has been so bad recently, I need the practice. Lucio, 600k. And Captavia is now 800k. Oof. If I get one of them in my pick, I'm cashing in, baby. You're loving life. Absolutely. Yeah. So assuming I can keep both as well. You can also keep both. I put French on the other side and went Mendy and then Carvajal for the club link. Ah, fair. 
So I was along, along the right lines where you wanted French for Lamar's chem, Spanish for Lorente's chem. But maybe I should have just double Frenched. But never mind. I'm still one guess to nil. Unfortunately, yeah, you are. Yeah. And hopefully can keep my two centre-backs in goalie and end my horrific run of form on Squabble the Showdown. Excluding the games against Oakley. Let's get into it. The final most dangerous of positions then, Kebs. Yes, I'm I realised that by picking Kunde, who is from Barcelona, I don't need another La Liga player to get the second La Liga chem point. All my La Liga players have got full chem. They've all got a league chemistry, a nation and a club. So I just need a single league earn centre-back. And I'm going to go for a French one called Palois. Is that how I'm going to pronounce his name? Oh, Palois. Palois. Big Palois, very nice. Foot centurions, lots of pace, lots of physical, not lots of hair, looks a bit like Sean Dyche. Everyone is now on full chemistry, and unfortunately, in previous FIFAs, I could have put a icon and then just another random French goalie, but that doesn't work anymore. It's kind of boring. So, I'm going to go back to La Liga, and I'm going to pick my Rule Breakers Alaba and Team of the Year Courtois. Oh, wow. That's quite large. Fair enough. Well, I knew that you had full chemistry for obviously your La Liga players. So I was thinking, okay, Andy will choose what is one league and centre back. And it doesn't matter what nation or wherever they're from. So I thought you might go really sneaky and put in like a Kalasinac or something like that. So that's, that's what I wrote down. Then I thought to myself, hmm, Andy's tried to plant the seed to try and not make a three-league hybrid. There is one way of making a three-league hybrid. Was there? Because I did try to find it. it. There is, because it's a perfect link of Kalulu to Mignon. Oh, and it's club and the double French. Yeah. So that's the, that's the way that I thought you would have found to do the three-league hybrid. That's clever. But you didn't, and you were stinky, and you went back to La Liga, and now you've got a team of the year in goal. Yeah, and he's on loan as well. Oh. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Could afford them. However, it would take... I mean, I've got 225k, so I'd need to double my coins by sitting here selling fodder, which could be done. And if I have to discard them, it will, of course, be done. However, hopefully we don't have to. So that's good. Who do you, who do you want, Kevs? <laughs> um, this will either be very, very good for me or very, very terrible. We're going triple French and we are going into a third league. So uh, we're going to the Prem. And we're going to go for a perfect link of Badi Ashile, Wesley Fafana, and the goalkeeper. We are going to go for future stars Ilan Melier. See, I noticed that you have full chemistry on everyone. Yes. And have enough... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, I'm stupid. I've looked at the wrong badge. Oh, you could pick any three La Liga players and they all would have got full chemistry. They would have. Because that would have given you max La Liga. Yep. I looked at Napoli. Wait, what the hell's got? Oh, because it's only two on the first slot. I looked at Napoli and thought, oh, we can pick three Serie A players and all the Serie A players will get full chemistry. That's not true. You'd need four. I would. That's really annoying. I've just wasted all my <laughs> guesses because I wrote stupid Serie A players that you wouldn't usually be able to use because they're hard to get chem, such as Radu. And then the new one, Titi, because he plays for some club that I don't know. Venezia, I think it yeah. might be. He's at least French. And it's Chesney, who you have to always go Juve with and it's bait. True. Yeah, yeah. So, But I've wasted all my guesses because I looked at the wrong thing. There you go, mate. And I overly big-brained it, thinking you'd go for a sneaky perfect link to get yourself a three-league hybrid as well. Well, let us jump in to a game. Right, Cabes, in we go. Sven's looking very good. Ooh. Ref. Yes. Ref. Ooh, Come that's on, the nice boys. Goal. Oh, well, VAR, please. My player was fouled in the build-up. Oh my god, Ferran Torres is back post. Oh my god. What, where, where's my defence? 4 3 3 is my new formation. <sighs> 4 3 1 2 ain't so good for me. Oh dear. We want seven. <laughs> we want seven. I uh, don't like it. <sighs> oh, what a turn. Oh, oh what, a, what a save. Oh, Team of the year, oh, what my goat. No. This ocean man is scaring me. 
Rightly so, because he's OP! Wow. Victor Oshiman! Come on! Bloody hell, he's good, isn't he? Unbelievable. Oh, big save. Oh, what a save. No, oh God, Melier, so Melier. Oh, how has he made? Oh. That is tragic, Kevs. I can only apologise. <laughs> ah. Oh, I'm going to concede off the result. Oh, oh, my God, what a goal that would have been. Oh, that would have Bloody been so hell. good. No! Ah! That's pent. Oh my god, 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 wow, wow, I even said it as well, <laughs> oh my god, I've lost 14 million coins in the last two months and you can't at least give me a penalty, I am very, very close to head loss, oh I'm gonna get head loss, <laughs> I'm so close to head loss, Kerbs. Please. No, yes. oh, Simon. No, oh, I'll just put it in oh, the goal. I can't, I can't believe I didn't just get a pen and then you nearly <laughs> ran down the pitch off the corner and scored. That would be a true testament to this game, to be oh, fair. Oh, my God. Great ball. Please oh, get Simon. your head up. Oh, oh my just God. Why didn't he even jump? <sighs> yes, Captavia. No, Captavia's brokenly good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, I'm, this is such a robbery! Come on! I'm not going to get it! You're still winning, what do you mean? You're fine! I'm scared, Kebs! <laughs> oh no! Oh nice. my god, how, oh, how boys, how are we not blocking that? Ah! He scored Zoe. Ocean Man! How? <gasps> Brother, how is he not scoring that? Well, that's nice. Oh, thank oh, God you haven't greened it. Oh, my God. You actually, you've turned me inside out. Oh, I tried to green it and I fluffed it. Oh, man. I, oh, there's just, there's so much movement in this team. I just cannot. Di what a save, Melier. Oh, save, Melier. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice, Politano. Come on, Kunde. He's what? offside. There's no way. There is no way I'm off. No. Why would it change to Palwa? Whoa, oh, that's such good dribbling. Oh. Sorry, Lacazette AI, can you get out of the way? Oh, do you know what? He's oh. been pulled back by Captavia then. Yes. But I've won anyway, so I don't care. I've got no discards at all. <laughs> that was horrific, mate. A seven goal thriller. Seven goals? When's the last time you said seven goals in a football match? Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't, no! <laughs> You're playing 4 3 one too, aren't you? Oh, mate, this is terrible. Oh, this is absolute. oh, this is horrific. I can't deal with it. Go on, mate. Right striker. Jesus, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Okay. Is it? Oh, that's Wesley Fafana. Which is ah, still... That's okay. still 250k. Bloody hell. Right centre mid was Marcus Llorente. That's why I was... I, I just... I, a sigh of relief. Oh, baby. Here we are then, mate. My quarter of a million discard for today's discard. And it's going into the 86 rated squad for the hero pack. Uh, for what it should cost overall. That's just cost me in one squad. Nice.